Okay, hi there ladies. Welcome to day three of our um, coaching sneak peek. So thank you so much for hanging out with us these past few days. Um, hopefully this group has been helpful and kind of like I said, giving you an idea of whether or not it's something you can see yourself doing. So um, thank you for, like I said, for being here and for hanging out. So um, today I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to get started as a coach and what you would expect if you decide to sign up. Um, so first of all, how to get started. If you've never, if you have not yet, the first thing you would want to do is join a challenge group. And this is the best way for you to get a feel of what coaches do, is being in one of our challenge groups. You can see what I do, you can see what the group is all about, and really and truly, um, if you've never used the products or you've never been in a challenge group, it's going to be really hard. It's really hard to, to sell something or share passionately about something that you don't love. And so if you haven't done a challenge group, it's going to be really hard for you to be excited about a challenge group when you're telling other people about it. Um, if you haven't tried Shakeology or the products, it's going to be really hard for you to try to convince. You're going to feel like you're convincing somebody to do it. It's not just you, you know, when you have something you love and you're excited about it's so easy to talk about it you know like the sell at target you're excited about it you're telling everyone because you're you love it and you're excited same with the challenge groups you need to join one fall in love with the products um, see what they're all about and see whether or not it's something you can picture yourself doing so that's the first thing I recommend if you're considering being a coach is get in a challenge group try out the products see what this see what a coach does and get that feel for it the groups are awesome. They're so awesome. Um, I love that positive environment. That's the missing link so many people have is, you know, people know how to eat healthy usually, or you can get on YouTube and find exercise videos. What they're missing is the support. And our job as a coach, we're not, you know, we don't have to be fitness professionals. We don't have to be um, nutrition experts. We just have to create a positive environment for people. It's where they feel comfortable they feel like they can share and they know that they have that support and when they feel like giving up they know they have people there who are going to reach out and not that let them give up so the challenge groups are great so that would be the first thing like I said so once you get started what to expect is one-on-one -on -one phone calls with your mentor coach if I invited you to this group then you, I would be your mentor coach and I would uh, we do weekly one-on-one uh, -on -one phone calls where we just make sure we're on the same page, that your goals are my goals. I wanna help you reach your definition of success. My defini definition of success might be different. Um, if you wanna be a hobby coach, that's totally fine. If you just wanna be able to pay for your own Shakeology, then that's what we'll work on. If you wanna be able to make six figures and retire your husband, then that's what we'll focus on. So anything is possible. Um, and my job as your mentor coach would just be to make sure that I help you get to where you want to go. Um, I'm not your boss or anything like that, but I'm, I'm there, you know, I've been doing this longer and I'm just there to help make sure you're um, on the right path and doing the right steps. So we do a lot of phone calls. Another really cool thing is you become a, a part of a team of coaches for support. So uh, my team is called Team Inside Out. Um, the way that I always explain it to people is if you picture a genealogy tree, I'm like at the top of the tree and all my coaches are underneath me. Okay, so you become a part of all the coaches underneath me, are all, they're all part of our team. You guys are like brothers and sisters. Only sisters though, we really only have a couple guys on our team. but. Um, so you become a part of that team. You, we have a, a private group on Facebook that I, I add you to where we talk daily. Um, so you become, like I said, a part of that team. And then also I have a coach. Her name is Emma and you become a part of that team also. She's like your grandma. And Emma's been doing this about double the amount of time that I have. Um, she just retired her husband from the military four years early. She's a six, she makes well over six figures. Um, she's um, an elite coach. So our team is part of an elite team, which is meaning we're in the top 200 out of 400,000 coaches. So our team is awesome. We know how to get success. So joining our team, you could feel confident knowing we're leading you on the right path and what we're telling you really does work and you really will be successful. Um, so we have an amazing team. Like I said, a lot of really great coaches, experienced coaches that have great 
advice and are so willing to help. Everyone is so nice as, in, on our team and you could ask anyone for help and they're not going to, it's not like a secret they're going to keep to themselves. Like everyone is so willing to help and see each other succeed, which I love that. You don't see a lot of that out in the world, especially in the workplace of people who are so willing to share their secrets to success and, and help other people. Um, but I love that Beachbody has provided that community. And as a stay at home mom, I know that's something I missed a lot. I miss a lot is, um, having interaction with adults. And so I love our team that we, you know, they, they've become my best friends. Um, we hang out every, every single day, which is something I need. I love that. Um, so that's something to expect. Also go at your own pace trainings and modules. So when you become a coach, you're not just thrown out there and left to figure it out on your own. You get trained. Um, so we do trainings in a couple of different ways. We have some that are go at your own pace. So if you're, you know, work full time, then you can do it when you have time. Um, then we also have some, have trainings, um, like I said, every step along the, the way until you're ready, until you get to where you want to go. So you're never left to figure it out alone. I am always there. The team is always there and there's always trainings. So you're not just trying to like, guess, Okay. <laughs> Cause there's a, there is a lot to it, of course. So, um, and then you co-challenge groups with your mentor coach. So once you do sign up, you don't have to run groups on your own. I'm there to help you. We do it together. I'm there by your side every step of the way. Of course, unless you want to do it by yourself, then I'm, you know, I'm not going to be all over your shoulder and stuff. But um, I know a lot of people are really nervous about that. Like, I don't know what to do. And, and of course you don't. It's a brand new job. And so that's why I'm here is to help you and make sure you're going to be successful. Um, I want to see you be successful. It makes me so happy to know that I've helped people get to where they want to go, whether it's with their fitness journey or their coaching journey. And so I'm, I'm there to help every step of the way. So um, just some of these pictures down here. Um, some cool things we're going to do. This one was Cancun last year. That was our free trip. Um, Cancun again. This one's in Nashville. Um, this, every summer we have our coach summit, which is our big coach training for all the coaches. And it's in Nashville and it's like three days and it's our big training. So we bring in a bunch of amazing speakers and it's truly life changing. You could work out live with all the, with all the, um, celebrity trainers and anyways, really cool. And then this was in Salt Lake City, our team retreat last year, which I'll talk about from a, in a second too. So what to expect from our team? Like I said, you're going to be part of a team. You're going to have new coach trainings. We're going to, we have weekly team calls. So, um, you can see down here, we meet during, um, via zoom. So video chat. So we all get to see each other. We all talk to each other. We all become best friends. Like I said, so we do that weekly. Um, monthly team challenges to help push ourselves and keep things fun. Um, team building events, leadership training. Um, I already mentioned the Facebook team page. So with these ones, leadership training, team building events, we have a team retreat every year also. Um, so but this was where ours was last year in 2015. It was up in Salt Lake in this huge mansion. And there, this was all the people who went. It was a total party. And, um, that's something that, that our team just did. That's not necessarily from Beachbody, but our team is awesome. So we do stuff like that. And this was there also us working out in the, and this year we haven't announced yet where we're doing ours, but it's going to be somewhere really cool. Um, and it'll be in November of, of this year, 2016. So anyways, and then lots of recognition and accountability. And I love this too. I love that Beachbody and our team is so quick to recognize you for, for doing a good job because I know we don't get that a lot as moms. So it's kind of nice to get that here. So, um, okay. So just a couple things um, I wanted to say. I'm going to stop sharing real quick. Um, so coaching really, it's something I love and I'm passionate about, but it really isn't for everyone. Um, but you really don't know unless you try. <laughs> um, so if you're thinking, oh yeah, I could, I could make some quick money or I could sell that stuff. Um, this probably isn't the right job for you to be honest. Um, this 
in order to be successful as a coach, you have to have be genuine in trying to truly help people. If you're just trying to make sales, people will sense that and you will not be successful. If you're, if you're truly trying to connect with people and help them to be successful, then you will be successful as a coach. Um, I help anyone who comes to me, whether or not they buy anything or not. I host a lot of free groups just because I want to help people. I want people to know I'm there for them, whether or not they purchase a Beachbody product or not. Um, and so that I, I think, like I said, it doesn't matter if you have what skills you have, if you feel like you're not knowledgeable enough, as long as you have that heart of you want to help people and make a difference in their lives, then you can be successful as a coach. That's what it takes. It doesn't take ripped abs. It doesn't take um, a background in sales. It takes like I said, a, a genuine heart. So if you're, tr if you're thinking it might just be some quick money, then, then I would reconsider this because it's not, it's something that takes a while to build. Um, it's taken me two over two years to get where I am. It was not a quick thing. My whole first year, actually really three years, my first year was a hobby coach and then two years is working. Um, my whole first year, I didn't make hardly any money. I pretty much worked for free and think if I would have quit and think, Oh, this is not working. Okay. Now I, you know, I, that year I was making about a hundred dollars a month. Now I make over that in one day. And so think if I would have given up in the first year thinking, Oh, this is not working. <laughs> I wouldn't, it wasn't, it's not that it doesn't work. It just takes a long time to build because it's about relationships, gaining people's trust and letting them know you're genuine and really trying to help. And that what you're doing isn't just a, a fad that you're going through. It's something you're doing. It's a lifestyle and that it really is working and really is changing lives, including your own. So like I said, it's not, if you're just looking for some quick, super quick cash, then it's probably not a, the right job for you. But if you're um, genuinely wanting to improve yourself, then you might as well bring others along on the journey with you, right? If you're wanting to do it yourself anyways, um, you might as well, I figure, I always tell coaches, you never know unless you try. So my last slide that I, I want to show you, um, I'll go back to it. Um, if nothing changes, if nothing changes, then nothing changes. And I think that's so simple, but so true that you don't just arrive at success. You don't just accidentally get there. If you want something different in your life, then you have to change something. You have to do something differently. Um, you know, 10 years from now, you don't want to look back on your life and you're there just because that is the way it happened to be, right? You want to, at least for me, I want to be able to look back on my life and know I was there because I worked hard to get there. And then I, I made sacrifices and I, I did these things to create the life I want and not just create the life that happened to turn out that way. You know what I mean? So um, if you want something different in your life, you have to change something and do something different. Don't be afraid to fail. Be afraid not to try. I really like that. I know I've let fear hold me back a lot. You know, what if I fail? What if I annoy people? What if people think I'm weird? What if, da, 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 you know, I was so afraid. I was so afraid of failing. I was so afraid of what people thought um, that that held me back from, from trying for a long time. Um, and I like this one that goes right along with it. Stop being afraid of what could go wrong and think what could go right. Um, there's a lot that can go wrong, but there's also so many things that can go right. Think what can happen to your life if this actually works. Would it help your family to have an extra hundred dollars a month? What about an extra hundred dollars a day? Would that help your family? Right? And you never know. There's plenty of things that could go wrong and probably will go wrong. Um, but there's also lots that could go right. Um, the quickest way to acquire self-confidence is to do exactly what you're afraid to do. And that's one of the things I love about this business is every single day I'm doing something that gives me butterflies and makes me so nervous yet. That's what makes me a better person. That's made me feel so much more confident because I do those hard things and then I survive and I'm like, Oh man, I can do that. And that wasn't something I was doing before. I wasn't purposely putting myself in uncomfortable situations. I was comfortable and I wasn't progressing and improving as a result. And so I love that coaching has helped me to do the things I'm afraid to do and that make me super nervous and give me butterflies. And that's what has gotten me to the point where I feel confident, I feel happy, and I'm growing every single day. And something to keep in mind, if you're afraid of failing, and this was what I finally realized, I'm so scared of failing, 
Well, by never even trying, you're already failing. If you never try, you're failing because you didn't even try. Um, so that's, that's something to keep in mind. So I know I talk a ton about how much I love coaching, and I do. I love it. I've been able to improve myself in so many ways, and I've been able to help so many people that I would not have been able to help otherwise. It's given me a platform to reach so many people. And I mentioned Beachbody's mission is to end the trend of obesity. My personal mission is to help women to love themselves, to see their value and to know that they're enough to not give up on themselves and not settle for a mediocre life when they could live a fulfilling and a happy and a full life. Um, and I think it's all related when somebody's healthy and they feel happier, they feel more confident, they feel more alive. And so I love what I do as a coach because I'm not just helping somebody lose five pounds. I'm helping somebody gain more confidence and gain more life and enjoy life. And I've seen that. I've seen people go from not feeling good to, I should read you guys some of the messages I get. I cry all the time. I never have cried over a paycheck, but I cry over these messages because I know what I'm doing is making a difference for people. Um, so with that being said though, like I said, it's not, um, oops, it's not easy. It's hard. There are times when I seriously wonder, like, why am I doing this? Like, this is stressful. This is hard. People keep telling me no, and people are making fun of me, and they are unfriending me, you know? Like, we, we've all had that happen where I remember the first time I got, like, a mean message from a friend, and that really hurt, and I cried. And I almost, I was like, I almost quit. I'm like, why am I doing this? Um, but I, I kept going because I realized I can't let other people always hold me back and their opinions of me hold me back from doing something that I want to do. I want to help people. Um, and so it will be hard. There's going to be lots of hard times. There's going to be tears shed because it's a business, it's a job and you're learning. And so I think that's, I don't want to paint just a rosy picture like, oh, coaching is great and you help people and you go on free trips and you earn money. Those things are awesome, but that doesn't mean it's going to come easy. There's, I, you have to make a lot of sacrifices to be successful. Um, the way I balance it in my life is I get up early and I go to bed late and I work. Um, I let my kids watch a show and I work without watching the show and I do phone calls when I'm driving. Um, I do phone calls when I'm cooking and it's a sacrifice. It's hard. Um, I, you know, I don't get as much sleep, but it's important to me and I know it's going to help my family. There's times when, like I said, I, I cry and there's times I've had people unfriend me and that hurts. I've had people make fun of me. I've had people roll their eyes at me. That doesn't feel good. But then I get those messages from people saying, because of you, I didn't give up. Because of you, I kept going. And those messages keep me going. I know there are people out there. I'm no one special, but I believe that, that God can use me, an ordinary person, to help to help his children. And that's kind of, um, not to get religious on you, but that's kind of um, what, what I love about this is it gives me the opportunity and it's hard, but that's what makes it so awesome at the same time. Um, anyway, so that's kind of um, all I wanted to share for today. Now, just so you know um, what's going to happen from here, the person who invited you to this group is going to follow up with you. They're going to ask you about it. Um, if you think it'll be a good fit for you, what type of coach you can see yourself being. And then we'll kind of go from there, um, get you in a challenge group and get, you know, if you choose to be a coach to start you on that journey also. So of course, um, if you have questions, just drop them below, but hopefully these past three, oopsies, I'm going to go ahead and excel. Hopefully these past three days have been helpful for you and that you are, you can kind of, you know, see, what you think. Um, I would love to have you join us. Like I said, I think that this is an awesome job <laughs> for so many ways. And so I would love to have you join our team and I would love to mentor you and help make sure that you're successful also. So um, we will be talking soon. Thanks again for hanging out, you ladies. I, almost, I always say you guys. It's habit. West Coasters always say you guys, you ladies. Um, anyways, all right. Talk to you later. Bye.